Okay, George here from Delusional Design CNC again. Uh, this time we're working with open lines um, and open paths. Uh, some of the things that uh, sheet cam can do and what it needs or cannot have uh, in order to do this. <clears throat> well, you can see here I've got the same file laid out four times with different colors. Uh, got different things done to it each time. Uh, on this one, I just took this part that looked like this. I selected my outer shape, shift, and selected my little circle. And then I did a difference, which was a control minus, to get rid of that. Then I didn't do anything else but just save it like this. I did not combine or group any of these lines with any of the other part. And I saved it. Uh, that's going to be uh, the one that we call correct. Uh, the next one here... We didn't do anything with it, uh, we just left it without combining, okay? Uh, so it's done just like this, just like it is with nothing cut out, so it doesn't show correct. If this was the cut, this is probably going to put this with the lead in on the outside, go the wrong direction. It may cut this whole piece and drop it in the water and then try to cut that. Um, this next one, I actually grouped all of these inner pieces with the outer piece um, and you can see it doesn't look any different than this uh, however it is different uh, it's going to create different layers it's going to create other problems sometimes it could cause um, things to connect themselves which I see a lot of people run into um, now this one over here I actually combined all these inner pieces uh, these are actually open lines just the same as this uh, if I click on this uh, you can see I can't drag uh, this. There's there's no line here, but it, because it is combined with other parts that are closed shape, it doesn't know what to do. Um, it just renders it looking like that. Uh, but it is in fact the same lines as this, but because we combine this with a shape that is not an open line, uh, it's going to give us some other problems uh, different than this and this. Uh, but all of these ones over here are not going to work correct. They are going to give us issues. Uh, so uh, let's just start. Uh, I already saved those, um, but I'm going to go ahead and go into Sheet Cam here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and open up these files. So first one I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to hit this one for correct. We're going to load this one up first. Okay, we see when we bring this one in, our outer shape shows red, our little uh, circle here shows yellow because it's an inside shape, and these show white, how they should. Uh, we have two different layers. Uh, the inner, the open paths are on color zero, which is how it should be, and the rest of it is on uh, layer white. Okay, so um, if I were to operation this, I could just go to plasma cut, select layer zero which is going to be my open paths if i hit this it tells me open paths were not offset which is how it should be there's no lead ins that didn't connect any of these if we go to operation plasma cut then and do layer white it is going to put our lead in on the right side okay it's going to cut this out first then cut this out so at this stage we have piece one two three then this would be number four, and this would be number five. This would all cut in the proper direction, how it's supposed to. We do get a warning because it says open paths were not offset, but we knew they were open paths. They are not supposed to offset, okay? So we could see the one where I just did the difference on this and didn't combine or group any of this actually is going to cut out correct, okay? Let's go to our next one here. I'm going to go to no groups or combine, which was the second one over in our little list. Now you can see I didn't combine that, but look, it's looking at this with this red outline, and this is a red outline. Like These are both outside shapes. Uh, the open paths come out looking correct. However, uh, if you look, uh, they put that one circle in with our other. Um, pat layer so uh, this is definitely not going to cut out correct 
if I go operation and I do, uh, let's do color zero like we did last time first, uh, you can see right here, it just put our lead in on the wrong side. It's gonna cut this in the wrong direction and our kerf is gonna be on the wrong side. So this hole is gonna come out the wrong size. Um, next, if we do the outside, the outside is probably gonna be okay. Um, but here would be a problem where you're gonna say, oh man, this thing's messing up. Uh, lead in on the outside came out okay, kerf, direction's fine, but it's just this that's messed up. And all that happened there was, I did not take this out, it cut it out of our part at first, okay? Next one, delete that guy, file, new part. I'm gonna grab our grouped, okay? So here, bring this guy in. Yet again, grouped came in the same way as if we just did uh, nothing to it, right? That was me grouping all these pieces with the outer shape. It doesn't know that this is a, a cutout in it and that this is gonna be a part. So uh, I'm not gonna go through doing the same here because we already know we've just did one that was just like that. Uh, now let's go ahead and do that one that was combined here. Okay, and let's see what that one does. So on the combined, comes in looking okay, right? Uh, even though it looked funny on the uh, piece that was uh, in Inkscape. So operation, plasma cut, but notice this is all in one layer here. Okay, so uh, this one did come out where it would cut right. Uh, it's got our open pass, we're not offset. However, I have seen if you do this, uh, it can take these pieces and actually go ahead and connect these ends, how it was in the picture. Um, the, how it rendered is sometimes what it will do in sheet cam. So if you're getting open paths that are closing, uh, very possible your stuff is combined. And uh, let me note, this is done in SVG. If you were doing this as a DXF, uh, it can affect your outcomes too. Uh, particularly if you combine or group, you will see them connecting them uh, if it's a DXF. So something to note there, um, the differences in how these work. Uh, so be correct with it. Uh, save yourself the headache. If you do your difference how it's supposed to on your shapes, your inner shapes from your outer shape, do not combine or do not group the others and you will end up like this where your open paths are on color zero, your other ones are on the uh, other layer. That way you can go in, uh, select color zero, do your operation. It's going to give you your open paths. Then go back, operation, do your other layer, and that is going to give you your lead-ins, lead-outs, cut direction, everything the correct order. Um, so this is also nice if you uh, having them separate layers because you may find you want to go a different speed even on some of these open lines. Um, you know, might want to do different uh, stuff with it but that gives you the opportunity to do that at this point we would just need to hit rp for our post process and we'll be done um, this concludes this video tonight um, do you guys have any other videos you want me to make go ahead and let me know uh, as i have free time i will do them um, hope this helped all right thanks a lot